Greetings. Several people were confused about how to solve some of these open pipe problems. So I have uh, decided to solve some for you and send you a video. So question one here has an open pipe, which means it's open at both ends and it plays the note C. If you know music, then you know what that means. If you don't know music, then that's not important. Um, and it has a frequency of 256 Hertz. So here's our open pipe. Um, unless it says something like second harmonic, first overtone, something like that, and it gives you a question like that, then you should just assume that we're talking about the fundamental because that is the frequency that the note, the frequency of the primary note that you hear. Um, and so that means you should just assume n equals one. And so if n equals one in our open pipe up here, that means I have a displacement anti-node at each end and I have at least, and I have one node in between. So the displacement wave kind of has this shape. Okay. And since it goes, so now one wavelength is a crest and a trough, a trough and a crest. So one wavelength goes from node to anti-node to node to anti-node to node. So that means from anti-node to anti-node, which is what I have up here, is one half of a wave. So the length of the pipe, the length of the pipe is one half of a wave. Okay, but what's the wavelength? The wavelength, remember we have the wave equation V equals F lambda. In this case, we it's the speed of sound. And unless we're given a very specific value, we should just use 343 meters per second. So V equals F lambda, 343 meters per second. The frequency is 256 hertz. And I can solve for lambda. So when I plug that into my calculator, I get, for the wavelength, I get 1.3 four meters, we'll call that. It's actually 1.33984, blah, blah, blah. But we'll just call it 1.34 meters. And so therefore the length of the tube that's needed is one half of 1.34 meters. Um, so that's going to be 0 0.68 meters. Let me just hit divide two. Yeah. Oh, sorry, not six, eight, six, seven meters. So here's my eraser, um, just erase the whole thing, get back to the pen, 0 0.67 meters. So that's the length of that uh, tube that, res that plays the note of 256 hertz. The second question is what are the three other frequencies that will resonate in an open open tube of this length? Of course that's length 0 0.6 seven meters as we got from this part. And this is an open, open tube. So that means that all harmonics are possible. Okay, so that means I have N equals one, which was a frequency of 256 Hertz. N equals two is another possibility. So frequency two is twice frequency one, and two times 256 is 512. So if I put a tuning fork with 512 hertz next to this organ pipe, it will also produce a standing wave, which will be heard as a loud sound. Uh, N equals three, so F3 is three times frequency one. So three times 256 gives me 768 hertz, and n equals 4. Frequency 4 is 4 times the original frequency. 4 times 256 gives me 1024 hertz. So um, for an open, open pipe, uh, the frequency, the, the frequencies that are possible um, are n, v over 2l, 
or n times the fundamental frequency, f1, where n is all possible values, 1, 2, 3, and so on, all possible positive integers. Okay, so let's move on and look at a pipe that is open at one end and closed at the other. And let's just go with the same frequency. So what that looks like is uh, when I have a pipe that is open at one end and closed at the other, I have a node at the closed end, a displacement node at the closed end, and a displacement anti-node at the open end, which means the wave kind of looks like this. It's half of a loop. So if I look at what a full wave looks like, two loops is one wavelength. I have um, from node to anti-node, node, node anti-node, node, node to anti-node is one quarter of a wave. So the length of the tube is one fourth of the length of the wavelength for the fundamental, wavelength one. So again, V equals F lambda, V is 343 meters per second. Frequency is 256 hertz, lambda one. The fundamental frequency, lambda one, oh, sorry, the, the, the wavelength then is still 1.34 meters, but now the pipe fits a quarter of the wave. So I can solve this by saying that the length of the pipe, one point, I just use this equation up here, 1.34 meters is one fourth, oh, I got it backwards, erase. Let's do this again. We're solving for the length of the pipe. Um, so the length of the pipe is one fourth of the wave, which is 1.34 meters. So 1.34 meters divided by four gives me 0 0.34 meters. I actually got 0.335 on my calculator, but I rounded to two significant digits. So again, we're looking at the fundamental. We're looking at n equals one for the fundamental, unless it says second harmonic, third harmonic, some other harmonic. If it just gives you the note that is played by the tube, that note is the fundamental. Okay. So the next question is, what are the three other, what, three other frequencies that will resonate in an open, closed tube of this length? Okay. So the fundamental frequency is 256 hertz in an open, closed tube of length 0 0.34 meters. So it turns out that the... Um, the harmonics for a closed pipe at one end are n v over 4 l, where n is allowed to be 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on, only the odd integers. So we will find that three others would be the third harmonic. The third harmonic is twice, sorry, not twice, eraser. The third harmonic is three times the fundamental. So three times 256 gives me 768 hertz. Um, the second harmonic is not possible. The fourth harmonic is not possible. But the fifth harmonic is, and the third is, so the fifth harmonic is five times 256, which is 1280 hertz. And of course, the sixth is not possible because that's an even harmonic, but an odd harmonic, the seventh is possible. So seven times 256 gives me 1,792 hertz. Okay, so only the odd integers. So there are no even harmonics here for an open closed tube because you always have to have a node at one end and an anti-node at the other, a node at one end and an anti-node at the other, and perhaps for the second, for the third harmonic, a node and an anti-node in addition. So that's the fundamental. 
This one is the third harmonic. And every time you add a node and an anti-node, you're adding a, a half of a wavelength. So the fifth harmonic has a node and an anti-node. Notice it's the same length tube, 0.34 meters, same length tube. And now if I have two nodes and anti-nodes in between, then the wave is going to look like I go through the ends and around the A's, through the ends and around the A's. And I have now, this is five quarters of a wave that fits into the tube. This is three quarters of a wave that fits into the tube. And this is one quarter of a wave that fits into the tube. And that is why we end up with only the odd harmonics, because we always have to have a node at the closed end and an anti-node at the open end. I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email.